American Idol, Katy Perry cries while listening spellbound to former prisoner Calvin Upshaw audition. Katy Perry cried listening to a former prisoner sing his heart out on Sunday's episode of American Idol. The 36-year-old Grammy winner and new mom grew emotional as Calvin Upshaw, 26, delivered a beautiful, broken rendition of the Calvin Richardson song Falling Out of Love. Katy has just learned along with viewers that the printer line manager from Marks, Mississippi, had served a prison stint as a young man and was trying to turn his life around. Willie Spence, 21, from Douglas, Georgia, shared his own journey with the judges before he went on. Once 600 pounds, the caretaker had been in a precarious state of health after doctors found fluid in his lungs a year ago. Determined to not let his weight take him down, Willie worked out with a trainer and ate right to lose more than 180 pounds before he showed up at the idol stage, where he sang Rihanna's Diamonds flawlessly. That Grammy is attainable, Luke said, as Willie went through. No doubt in my mind. Just as moving was an audition by 16-year-old Ace Styles, a student from Tulsa, Oklahoma, who sang and played guitar on his original tune Addicted. Ace's story as a trans singer and his quirky voice still didn't get him a slot on Idol, as Katie and Luke said he wasn't ready and tears rolled down his face. Lionel said yes just to help Ace understand they believed in him. It's gonna come, Katie said. Ace is still percolating. Let it come. Confident performances abounded elsewhere on the second show of the season, which opened with Amanda Mina's stirring rendition of the Beatles' Golden Slum Bears. Casey Bishop, 15, a high school student from Estero, Florida, sang a jazzy a cappella version of Motley Crue's Live Wire, followed by Sarah Vaughn's cover of My Funny Valentine. Luke said it left him dipped in Disney and Sparkles and Flowers and Doves, and compared it to 2019 winner Alejandro Aranda's audition. I think she's the damn winner of American Idol, he opined. Period. Brother and sister duo Lahana Alian, 17, and Amon Alian, 18, from Vineyard, Utah, won over the panel with their original song Listen to My Heart, and a story about living off the land in Hawaii. Anthony Guzman, 27, a warehouse worker and Viking enthusiast from Santa Rosa, California, came to the auditions dressed as Thor, but genuinely impressed on the classic Torch song Cry Me a River. Never judge a book by its cover, Katie emphasized. Or its hammer, Anthony quipped. Hannah Everhart, 17, a high school student from Canton, Mississippi, charmed Katie by saying that she was often compared to her. The two bonded over their love of a full slab of barbecue, and Katie wondered if Hannah was her country twin. She loved Hannah's take on Johnny Cash's wayfaring stranger and Etta James at last, as Lionel urged Hannah not to downplay her pipes. Come get us, Lionel told the ticket winner. You're sitting on a gold mine. During a break in the auditions, Lionel and Luke raced golf carts on a golf course, blowing off steam. Luke's cart had a fish hanging from the rearview mirror, while Lionel's had a thick gold chain and a disco ball. The silliness continued with Eurispel, 25, an entrepreneur from Miami, who got the judging panel dancing to his cover of P. Bull's Fireball. Katie said Eurispel looked like the Latin Luke, and Luke was so charmed by the man's big personality he voted yes. Katie said no, worried that no one would trust her judgment again if she gave Eurispel a pass. Lionel, however, sent the contestant to Hollywood, pointing out that he was the mascot of fun and that was sorely needed. Joss Beckham, 24, a heavy machinery operator from Apple Valley, California, got his own pass for singing What Brings Life Also Kills, by Colton Moore and The Clever Few. Joss's parents said he'd gone down a dark path before Idol, filed with alcohol and self-doubt. Katie thought his cover felt like the heart of America, and dubbed Joss a top five contender. Cassandra Coleman, 24, a coffee shop manager from Columbia, Tennessee, also wowed live with her cover of The Killers the way it was and got a ticket to Hollywood. Luke called it straight up God-given, and was doubly impressed after Cassandra played One Republic's Apologize on the piano. American Idol will return next week on ABC.